We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. It's game one of the World Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Minnesota Twins. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Well, here's a little comparison of these two teams. Looking at it earlier, to me, the story is all about the pitching. Both squads have some good arms, and the team that gets the best outings are probably going to come out on top. It's the moment these players have been waiting for. Game one of the Fall Classic is on the show. And it's coming up next. Kenta Maeda gets the call on the mound here at home for game one of the World Series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Kenta Maeda, you're going to see a lot of off-speed pitches from Maeda. 88 to 91 miles an hour, not a terrific fastball, good split finger, good slider. He's one of those guys that pitches backwards. What do I mean by that, Matt? He'll throw fastballs in breaking ball situations, and he'll throw off-speed pitches when he's behind the count. 2-0 or 2-1, he pitches backwards. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. He's in there for strike number two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the former All-Star shortstop, Corey Seager. The 1-1. One -one. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, D. Road, not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. Here now the 2-2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with that an opportunity hurt. to do some the damage. So when you strike yeah. both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Standing in now, Max Muncy. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count. He just seems to keep hanging right in there. 
on the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more from game one after this. Walker Bueller is on the mound here on the road for game one of the World Series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Now the one and one pitch. Ball. Two ball, one strike, the count. In there, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy the at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. To the plate now, Josh Donaldson. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Gonna be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Bats on the run, but this will land untouched. Fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. And with two away here in game one of the World Series, let's give you a little refresher course at the roads these two teams took to get where they are tonight. Here's Nelson Cruz now. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Down go the Twins in order. Still no score. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the second. That is fair. The designated hitter, A.J. Pollard. Fastball is looked at for strike two. <laughs> Unable to find the zone with the slider. Jock Peterson will be next. <laughs> Chopper to short. Throw on to first, two gone. That is this. The left fielder, number 31, Josh Peterson.
No score here as we play inning number two. And it's fouled away. The one two. Is swung on and missed strike three. Dodgers down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in is the outfielder, Eddie Rosario. Fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting fifth. The second baseman. Luis. Oh, yeah. Standing in, Luis Arias. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. And he fouls this one off. On the ground to third. Turner's got it. And that's the second out. Here's Miguel Sano. We'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. A ball and two strikes. Slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. Twins are set down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Stepping up now, Justin Turner as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Two one home. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. The three one fouled away. Three two pitch. And he lays off their ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Settling in now, Will Smith. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. On, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first down just tied him up with that last pitch pretty evident by the swing sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with
at the plate. Gavin Lux high and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Line toward right center. It's down for extra bases, and the Dodgers have their first hit of the game. The relay throw, and he's safe. That's a big at bat from the bottom of the order. Yeah, Matty, right there. Worked himself into a nice situation. Got on, on base right there. Now first and third rolls the line up over top of the order is licking its chops. Now a move over to first, and he'll be back in standing up. In now, Mookie Betts. Two and one now to Mookie. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Third inning, no score to this point. Oh, Three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Kepler's going back, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a one nothing lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where we get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Into the box, Corey Seager. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. With one out and runners on the corners, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. Stepping in now, Max Muncy fouled off. Here's the two and two. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Only one in the inning here for the guys in blue. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Dodgers lead this one, one to nothing. Matt Vasquez and Mark DeRosa and Dan Flezak back with you as Byron Buxton readies to lead off the inning. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Out in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. Peterson comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Batting it. The right field. Matt. Kepler. Up next for Minnesota, Max Kepler. The 1-1. One, one. Nope, that's the ball. Two one. Popped him up. Turner has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. Batting 
Into the box now, Mitch Garver. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. One and two to the Twins catcher. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. To two balls and two strikes now. Two out, nobody on. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Down go the Twins in order. It remains 1-0. Welcome back to Target Field as we send it to Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Circle change here, but it's taken for ball two. And it's fouled away. Set to deal on two and two. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Now in now, A.J. Pollard. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One run, two hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And he misses two and one. Pollock in front, three balls and a strike. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And he fouls this one off. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The 3 2, one more time. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. The next 3 2 is in there a called strike three that's back-to-back -back punch outs and he's really starting to rack them up now guys I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now so he's got good stuff standing in now Jock Peterson and he pulled up in time but it's a called strike two Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. One run, two hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Fouled away. The 3 2, one more time. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They lead it one to nothing. Oh. 
digging in the switch hitter, Jorge Polanco. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. So now to the plate, Josh Donaldson. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here's the pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He loses him on ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Nelson Cruz looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. The one-two. Now a drive by Cruz. Deep left field. And they take the lead. It's gone. Two-run dinger off the bat of Nelson Cruz. His first homer here in the series, and the Twins move out on top two to one. We were wondering who was going to strike first with the long ball. What a moment for him right there. Home run in the World Series. No one can ever take that away from him. Into the box now, Eddie Rosario. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Now the 2 1 pitch. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Still only one out in the inning. Fouled off. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the no bullpen bad. this two. early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. Louis. On the flip side, he might just get in oh, his face oh, a little yeah. bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. So stepping in, Luis Arias. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yep. 
This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly. The second for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Well, when you get a ground ball in a double play situation, you always want to turn it. But that was a tough hit to do it on. You don't want to rush and make a mistake and get no out. So that was a good job to at least get the runner going into second. The 1-1. One, one. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The one two hit sharply but foul down the right side. Arise the runner at first with two gone. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning. But two run score for the twins both coming on this two run home run. We're through four. It's now two to one Minnesota. Now in the box Justin Turner no official at bat for him but he has scored a run in this one. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Kepler's on the move, but he won't get to it, and this should put him in in scoring position to start the inning. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Fifth inning, two to one our score. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Now another one, two. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. And it's fouled away. Another 2 2 offering. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. 3 and 2. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Now that number nine. Late Gavin Lux as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Hit high and deep is straight away right field. Going back is the right fielder and it's gone. So it's a three run shot to straight away right field his first homer so far in the series and they will jump ahead here it's now four to two well with no outs you can afford to give up a single but you can't afford to give up a three run homer he just caught too much of the plate now he's back to the drawing board no outs and the inning is already an ugly one. In now, Mookie Betts. Fouled straight back.
Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, the struggles continue, but that happens when you're not able to locate your secondary pitches and become a one-pitch pitcher. He needs to start to get those secondary pitches over really fast. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is laid off, and the count runs full. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit in the air out to right. Kepler's on his horse. Can't make the play, however. It's over his head. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise the occasion, while some guys shrink away when it matters the most. Well, this guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started, and after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Now here comes the Twins manager on his way to the mound, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start. That's for sure. Fernando Romero a right hander standing six foot even will take over the pitching duties here. Into the box, Corey Seager. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. Now the one and one pitch. Drilled on the ground is short. And that's through into left, a base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Hey guys, that's an excellent piece of hitting right there. A good change up down and away gives most batters problems. But trying to think the other way from an offensive standpoint, excellent job. At the plate now, Cody Bellinger. Full count to Bellinger, three balls, two strikes. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? Three runs already home here. This is hit high and deep out to left. Back goes Rosario. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Throw won't get them. Usually when you score a lot of runs in one inning, like this inning, you're doing a lot of things right. And how about this? A sack fly to drive in another run. They have to be happy with this. Ready for another shot now. A.J. Pollock. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Fouls this one off. Four runs here in this half inning. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3-2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch. But that one wasn't even sniffing the zone. And he let him get away. 
So the bases are loaded here with one man gone. And in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Wow, talk about frustrating. Not what you want to do with the bases loaded. A simple pop-up, and nothing productive comes out of that. Ready now, Justin Turner. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Ready with the 2-1. Liner toward right center. That's in there. Base hit. One run scores. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 7-2 ball game. Boy, talking about having ducks on the pond right there, Dero. I know everybody Dero. wants to hit a home run. Those are the ones you remember. But without question, Dan, two out, two RBI knocks with runners in scoring position right there. You remember these knocks. At the plate, Will Smith. And there's ball two now. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Two men are on with two men out. All even now, two and two. And he sends it out of play. Hit back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The run scores from second. It's an 8 2 game. He took that back right where now it came back. from. Nice ribby Number knock five. right up the shoot there. You know, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher. You, know, you always hear that, hey, you want to make yourself one of the defenders, but that ball was hit just out of its reach. Right up the middle, base hit, and another run batted in. Matt Wisler gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. So now to the plate, Gavin Lux. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Here now the 2-2 is laid off of for ball number three. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. He'll come home with it. And not in time as the run scores. Man, this thing's blown open right here. As they've exploded for eight runs in this inning alone, everyone knows that offense is contagious. That much is pretty obvious in this one. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Mookie Betts. He's two for three and looking for more here. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. But not before they claim the lead here as they bat around and hang an eighth spot on them. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Dodgers nine and the Twins two. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. 
Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said that they're playing right into the pitcher's game plan today by expanding the strike zone way too often. Instead of swinging at pitches in the strike zone that they can do something with, they're often chasing at pitches out of the zone which is resulting in a lot of their outs. Going forward, they have to start being more selective, guys. Thank you, Heidi. Bottom of the inning now, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Byron Buxton. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a bolt. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And another foul ball. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Here's another one, too. Still a ball and two strikes. Swing and a liner but foul. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. That was a good job there of using the batter's aggressiveness against him. He was putting up a good fight and fouling a lot of balls off, so as a pitcher, it's a great idea to expand the zone even more and make the hitter really chase after something that's even hard to foul off. Into the box now, Max Kepler. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. Now the pitch. A good movement bearing in. It's two balls and two strikes. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Full count to Max Kepler. Three balls and two strikes. Mitch Garver waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peterson is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Stepping into the box, Mitch Garver. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. He's able to take the ball the other way here. High and deep to right center. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Solo shot to right center. His first homer here in the series. And this lead has been cut to just six now. Everything to lose in this game, but it's obvious they have zero quit in them. They're going to battle until the last out, and with that homer, they're that much closer to prolonging the series. Ready once again for him, Polanco, and he's at risk of the old hat trick. Two strikeouts on his line so far. Dad, it seems like these hat tricks and golden sombreros are a lot more common than they were, say, 10, 15 years ago. Guys have stopped worried about striking out as much. It's really been an ideological shift in the game that's a big topic of debate. Yeah, guy's not going to worry about three strikeouts if he can add a game-winning hit to that line. A ball and two strikes to the Twins shortstop. Oh. 
And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Two out, nobody on. Still two and two. Hit out towards second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, they say in this game you better have a short memory. Well, that's obviously the case with this batter. He came into that third at bat after getting his ticket punched twice and was able to get a single. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And here's Donaldson. Slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now, as it appears they have both a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. This one's down to third. Gloved by Turner. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. But the Twins at least do get one back on this solo home run. Through five innings, it's the Dodgers nine and the Twins three. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and stepping up is the shortstop, Corey Seager. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. Well, it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get in a more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher three and two full count now the payoff pitch home Payoff pitch. Another one sent foul. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at bat. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play for the now first that, out of the inning. The first baseman, Matt Munchie. Stepping into the box, Max Muncy. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. Just hung in there on that one. The one two mm -hmm. 
hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Lifted the other way out to left center. Chasing after it is Rosario. He gets there, and that's the second out. The center fielder, number 35, Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. Still one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this will be fouled away. The one two. Well, this is just one of those grinder at bats right here. He worked the count even to two and two, and he's made him throw a lot of pitches. Here it comes. Lifted into center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Dodgers down in order, but they lead it by a margin of nine to three. Dustin May enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for the Dodgers, number 85, Dustin May. Striding forward now is the D.H. Nelson Cruz. He's working on a one for two game so far. And in that last at bat it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Base hit into right center. Standing in now, Eddie Rosario. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three, and they turn the double play. Now that's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up. Digging in once again, Luis Arias. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. In the air now, out to left. On the move is Peterson. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Nothing doing here for the Twins. Still way back, it's 9-3. Tyler Clipper enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Tyler All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up A.J. Pollock. And, oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. Two pitches fouled away. Here it comes. Fouled off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play.
the 2 2 one more time. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Slap hard the opposite way, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. Up next to the Dodgers, the left fielder, Josh Peterson. To the plate now, Jock Peterson. And it's fouled away. Clipper rarely finds himself in much trouble out of the bullpen, at least in terms of giving up base hits. He's proven to be a tough guy to barrel up. The one two is a fastball that misses. I like what he was trying to do there with the two seam fastball but that's a tough pitch to come in when you throw it glove side like that it's really tough to get it to come back to the corner. Nobody out runner on first. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it three and two. Too high and that cost him ball four. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. So digging in now, Justin Turner. He singled and drove home two his last time. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield he's going to wave them uh, had him off stride that time and it's one and two and this is swung on and missed and boy they took care of a key man there one away good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there yeah Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count you can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect and when they're in that mode getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier into the box will smith two and two to the dodgers catcher look out don't want to hit him there it's full three and two well that'll wake everyone up anytime you buzz the tower like that there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy the three two pitch grounded softly to the right and indeed he'll not even try as he goes to first and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away the batter number nine your attention please so they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Here's the one and two. And he's down on strikes. So they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Dodgers strand a couple, but they lead it by a margin of nine to three. So coming to the plate, Miguel Sano. No hits to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The one-two. To two balls and two strikes now. And he fouls this one off. A 
Another try at 2-2. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. A shot down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three now times back. he's gone down on no strikes in this one. Far so they've left. really figured out how to attack yeah. this guy. At the plate now, Byron Buxton. And he got him. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. In now, Max Kepler. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And the pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Seeger has a play. And that ends the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three. Still way back, it's nine to three. Ready to begin the eighth. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Pitch on the way. Fouled away. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. All even at two and two. Here it is. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Ball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at bats, you start to get into swing mode. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Boy, d -Row, there's a case of the outfield defense playing so deep that that ball looked like it was an extra bases all the way, but they were able to cut it off. Yeah, not too many times I would agree. I, I, I'd love to hear your take on this as well. The no doubles defense, I, I kind of never understood it to begin with. I felt like the pitcher, if he can execute the game plan, could keep the ball in front of the outfielders, but right there, boy, I was wrong. That worked. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Got him. 
And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Stepping in now, Max Muncy. Count is one and two now. Here's a look over to first, but the runner's back easily. The one two. Beaten into the ground over to first. One there. And good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a three to six to one double play, and the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Dodgers out in front, nine to three. Into the box, Mitch Garver. And he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. The 2 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Now the payoff pitch home. shot to third and that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm a base hit at the plate for hit Polanco now a swing and a miss and he's behind one and two all you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ballgame. A runner at first with no outs here. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Rounded back up the middle. There's one on the first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game. As there are quickly two away now. Boy, that's about as easy as it comes. A chopper, two hopper turns into a tailor-made four-six-three double play. Josh Donaldson digging in now. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Two out, nobody on. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. The 1 2. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he is in the second with a two-out double. And this is just a cut fastball. He's trying to sneak in the back door. He's unable to get it done. Leaves it right over the heart of the plate. And that's just too easy for a guy like this. He's licking his chops as the ball arrives. And he drills it to the outfield for an extra base hit. Into the box now. Nelson Cruz. 1-1 one, one is a cutter that misses 2-1. and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. The 
short hit hard. He's right there. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Twins wind up stranding one. Still way back. It's nine to three. Tyler Duffy comes on the pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Tyler Duffy. Next for the Dodgers, Cody Bellinger. He flew out in his last at bat. He couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. And it's gone as they add still another. It's a solo homer for Cody Bellinger. His first homer so far in the series, as this is now a seven run ball game. Now we've now seen four homers combined between these two clubs today. What are your thoughts, guys? Yeah, Manny B. You don't see this very often, D. Rowe, when it's cold and chilly like this, wind blowing in a little bit, but we're still seeing a lot of home runs. Yeah, Dan, I can't explain it. Let's just tip our hats to both offenses right now because they came to play. Moving traffic against this cold weather, not easy to do. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Base is empty here with nobody out. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Oh, that's frustrating right there. He was right on that fastball, took it deep, just couldn't keep it fair. How many times have you seen it? There's a good chance he's punching out right here. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late, had no chance to put that ball in play. So now to the plate, Jock Peterson fouled off. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. And he misses ball four. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Digging in now, Justin Turner. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Two balls and a strike now. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Runners on first with one down. Softly hit down to third. Likely no shot at two. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now that the pepper will win. Striding in, Will Smith. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. 
So that's the second walk now he's that. worked in this one. Yeah, oh and that God. seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing, so I think the You're idea is mostly play. not to let this one now guy beat you, Matt. Trevor May enters now Trevor in a mop-up roll as he'll try to keep Trevor. the deficit right where it is. Gavin Lux will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. But the Dodgers add on courtesy of this solo home run. Last chance coming up here for the Twins. It's the Dodgers 10 and the Twins 3. Now the number four Minnesota hitter, Eddie Rosario, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And it's two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Barehanded at his knees. In time. The batter, number two. Second baseman, Luis Arias. The next twin up, Luis Arias. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Line to the right side. Betts is there, and there are two men gone now. Up next to Minnesota, the first baseman, Miguel Sano. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Final strike for the Twins. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Look, it's easy. You don't have to look any further than the fifth inning to see where this game was decided. They put together a big rally and did everything down the stretch to secure this win. Well, the lineup was clicking for him in this contest, and the man you see there was a major contributor. For that, he's the top player of the game. Yeah, no question. He was a tough out up there. Ended up collecting three knocks, including a home run. So without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a different story.
10-3 at the end of this contest. The Los Angeles Dodgers win the World Series opener and take a 1-0 lead. Walker Bueller is credited with the win. Kenta Maeda was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers, 10 runs, 12 hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base. For the Twins, three runs, six hits, no errors, they left three men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 39 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Target Field, 38,649. A reminder that extra 